This is your life, and this, if you hadn't guessed it, is a very famous rover's return. And since Match of the Day is on, no bastard has walked through that door yet, but soon they will. Now tonight we're focusing on a right whinging, bad-tempered old fucker who you'll come to miss during the progression of BBC and Channel 4. Now I've finished giving that glass some good wrist action, plenty of years practice in that, I'm ready to hide in the snug with Martha's ghost and wait for him to arrive. Why Christ, it's busy root phone box out yonder. Are you not offering your cell out anymore? If that were the selling point, Albert, you'd no need for it come in. I won't touch you with me bayonet. I'll have a drop of rum. I'm sorry, Mr. Tatlock. I'm afraid the last time you had rum, you revealed your withered penis to everyone. But it's not tempting. I'm still going to counselling. I can't eat raisins anymore. Enough of this talk about Albert's cock and more about my big red book, because inside it contains a very special journey. Tonight, Albert Tatlock, this is your life. Good, well, that's what I cook off. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck no, 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 no. <laughs> don't be a fucking wet. We don't have time for this. We spent a lot of money. I'm not fucked about that. Plenty here want to laugh. We've got a train ready, so if you need a piss or a shit, have it now. Fucking <laughs> 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 get in, Albert! Calm down, please. Well, Albert, they're a rough crowd. But tonight we can enthrall them with stories spanning 11 decades and your naughty exploits as a soldier during the Crimean War and several following. We could go on till tomorrow afternoon about all that, but fuck me, I haven't got it in me. And these lot'll be arsehole, so we're focusing on your time as a lovable old twat in the corner of the local piss house. Your life as we know it on Sorry Nation Street, keeping yourself relevant amongst the plankton of society. And the aforementioned plankton are here tonight, racking up a fucking enormous rail bill and wearing old panto rags for the occasion. It's the residents of Sorry Nation Street. <laughs> Bastard. It'll be funny, will this? <laughs> oh, I'm so proud. Ah, uh, good luck. Got in before me, you shit I'm the lips are not at all. The Lord be with you. Good lad, Albert. Hee <laughs> hee I'll take me rollers out. This is better than the rum. Up to a strip club later if you fancy it. You can stay at mine if you like tonight, Albert. Is it a bar in here, Mucker? This is better than fucking church. So please be a Mr. Tatlock. Well, I think I heard a proposition in there, but alas, Minnie has got to get through this lady first. <laughs> With you for a quarter of your life and 56 years of marriage, it's your good lady wife. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm only going to sleep on a couch. Well, I've heard all about him and Minnie, and I'll lock him in coal shed if he carries on. I've got rum in there. Don't get me wrong, he's still got it and he can have a solid eight minutes out when he wants to. I'm sure Caldwell's never had it so good. But he's a laugh. I can forgive it. And I'd say I'm rather fortunate to have a real man keeping me bed warm. I'll set bloody fire to it. Now, Ken, we brought a load of random family up here. You mentioned to Albert that he's got this show before you. Are you jealous of Albert being up here and getting all this record? Yes, it's a little frustrating. I'll not lie. I've got charisma, class, and I'm basically the Valentino of Salford, and yet, because he's been in wars and whatnot, he gets everyone tugging off over him. This is typical ITV, really. I banged his niece, and nobody gives a fuck about that. You all laugh, you all laugh, but if she hadn't fried herself, I'd be getting in on his inheritance. And Albert, can I just say, I'm only here because there's an after-party at Billy's Club, and I'm going to go because I'm pissed off, and some floozy is going to get it, and get it whether she likes it or not, that's all I have to say. You're his grandkids, I believe. Uh, yes, and he gives us rum round the back of number one out of Ken's cabinet. Oh, fuck's sake! Yes, he often gives us his blue films out of the third drawer in the bureau. I'm getting really pissed off here. Nothing's your own anymore. Shut up, Barlow. Let's get on to Albert. Born sometime around the 1700s, you fought in various wars before incredibly teleporting through time and unevolving to start childhood again in Rochdale. Here's Albert version two. Safe to say you didn't care for the new education system. 
fucking tossed. Well, right, you rejoined the army again in 1914, right the way through. And here are some of your old mates. Anybody here fancy a nice bit of pipe, Shag? Not half. That'll do. All right, go on. I've gotten some out of Ken's coat pocket, so I'll share it out after. Fuck off, Albert! <laughs> well, we've got a special message here today. They're currently sweating their balls off over in Australia. But compared to your accomplishments, Albert, that's a small price. On that screen, you'll see David Lloyd from the England cricket team, who wanted to say a few words. How do, Albert? I'm chuffed to bits to be able to say something about a grand Lancashire lad who makes us laugh. We don't get enough naughty bastards putting world to rights and giving the world two big fingers. We hope we can give these fucking gobby shrimp munching wallaby shaggers a good twatting in your honour. Have a rum on me and lamb one on Ken for being a ponce. <laughs> good luck, and here's Peter Lieber caning me at bollocks earlier. Have some of that! <laughs> oh, you reckless cunt! <laughs> Now, Jack, you were approached to move into Sorry Nation Street after the war, and you had second thoughts because of the shit beer in the Rovers and Ina Sharple's fearsome reputation. You were talked into it by a special northern actress who's currently helping to invent the stairlift. I said if you don't go to Sorry Nation Street, nobody will ever know who the fuck you were. Dora! That's right. What a woman. Dora her. <laughs> Hello, love. Hey, a flower. Don't tell me, Mrs. Act natural. Hello, lovely. Nice to see you. You didn't suspect anything. Thora, why did you force him onto the street? Well, for a start, as you well know, he likes a drink. No secret there. That's what it was. He'd been out on the piss and he'd had one or two navy rums, as you know. Well, about 12, actually. I'm telling fibs there, sorry. He was sitting over there, you see. His two mates had pissed the drawers and passed out. And I looked across and I saw, here, be me prop. And I saw silly sod Albert asleep like that. And he had his willy sticking right through his zip. Well, I were mortified and no joke. I shouted, put it away, you nasty sod. And he went, ass over tit. So I said, if you want to do that, sorry Nation Street's your place, because they love that. And I were right, weren't I? I was. Yeah, it's a shit on. Suits you though, don't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Thank you for it. Let's look at when we first saw you on Sorry Nation Street. I see you off down that soft ass disco again. It's not for me to say, but seeing you all sipping Coca Cola and jiving makes me want to shit in my hands and throw it about. Goodness me, what a thing to say. And that was Ken again, wasn't it? Oh, you again. Can I say he actually did that? We'll cheer you up now with a real classy professional. The, the man on the front line himself, so you can relate. Captain George Mannering. Hello, Albert. And Eamon. <laughs> Jolly good of you to be getting noti noticed for your cantankerous ways. Wish I, wish I could be there, but the, the wife's made a shepherd's pie. Mm. You know, if it wasn't for the dreadful Sorry Nation Street, and Albert, I wouldn't have turned into a damn proud Home Guard platoon commander, as you know. Now, Jack got me onto the Navy rum now. I know it's a bit naughty, and I make no apologies. My first drink of it, I soiled my trousers, completely from top to bottom. And when that happened, Sorry Nation Street Council offered me a house. Dude, brush with it! Fine man. I'll raise a rum to you this evening. Very good. Thank you, Captain Mannering. You know, he makes a good captain on Dad's army. Especially with that shower of shit he has to work with. It's like that on, it's like that on street. Dirty bitches eat shop. Behind bar, under viaduct, and then you've got fellas who can get what they can. Fellas like Kenneth over there. That's why I get me knob out. It shows all those clueless young buggers that somebody like me, at God knows what age now, can live through every age and still belong. And by heck, I don't give a fuck still. Albert Tatlock, this is your life. Come on, Albert! <laughs> 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 